Hey everyone, this is Spoog on yet again another episode of Call of Cthulhu. Alright, last time we got to this uh, creepy, weird village, and uh, no one would talk to me except for this woman and partially this other guy. But yeah, we found this car thing, it was pretty cool looking, but. And yeah. Alright, so let's go through this door, anyways. Whatever. Continue. Oh, wait, back a door. Let's go in here and see if there's anything in here. Right. Can't see anything of use. Apparently not. All right, let's go through here. Ah, ba, 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 ba. We got some awards, not awards, doctorates. I have no idea. Let's go. The door's bolted shut. Oh, you bastard. The door's bolted no! shut. No! Door should not be bolted shut. That is crap. Crap is crap. Uh... Very powerful wind, apparently. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Okay, that's great, but I wish I could go down there. Alright, so apparently I'm not in the right area. Right here, right here. Hide right here. Go down. Go. Go. It's unlocked. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ha-ha! Game commences. I'm just the McBush will have left scratch marks on the floor. You won't be able to move the object. The door passed next to it is open. Okay. Sounds good, sir. So, those are scratch marks, so apparently I can... push it shut. These shelves look light enough to push. Okay, well... Jesus Christ, how long does it take to push something? I'm guessing that means that that blocks the door. Perhaps I could use them to block the door to uh. give me more time to look around. Ha <laughs> ha! He can't come in now. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. He's stuck. Assorted paperwork, but nothing. I of know. Any I want to check the desks. All right, fine. Let's see. Where am I? Ooh, -hoo, shiny briefcase, medical box. Okay, never mind. Obtain all the treatments needed to patch up your injuries. Injuries? Why would I have injuries? God damn it, I can't even jump over things. The till's empty. Damn. I wanted to steal crap too. Ooh, doors broken. Oh my god, controller's so fast it hurts my head. Hmm, that looks ominous. Give me that. It won't open. Okay. That won't open, apparently. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. Okay, I need a lifting handle, apparently. I'm so glad this guy tells me what I need. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Well, then open it. Holy Jesus. Oh, God. All right, fine. <laughs> Don't tell me that. The drawer Just is empty. open it. I can see these things. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nope. Nothing important here. A typewriter. Okay. Typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Alcohol. Nothing of interest. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. I'll take the rum. I don't need a handle. What are you talking about? Oh, God. Shit. Shit. Come on! Oh, 
Oh my god, his arms are so long! Holy hell! Shit, go down. Go down. Oh, don't! Jump. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> God, that sucks. Uh, can't you use a ladder, dumbass? Uh, oh, well, at least the guy didn't just. Oh, God, he did! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh well. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Well, food so I can stay alive. And a med kit to patch up bandages since I fell. <sighs> Got a book. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Alright, alright. We'll read the diary real quick. Uh, I don't need that. I need Diary of Brian Burnham. Well, I agree with the locals on one thing. I shouldn't be stuck in this miserable excuse for a town. I can see why nobody comes here, that's for sure. Another slow day at the store. At first, I thought people were staying away because First National isn't locate. local. But I haven't seen anyone go into any of the other stores either. Come to that, I haven't seen the other stores open for business. This place is dare than the dead. Still, it won't be long before I'm out here. <laughs> before we're both out here, she's the one good thing about Innsmouth. We'll bust open old man Wade's house, take a car, uh, oh, safe, take a car, that's New York City. Bright lights, night life, everything. I'll show her all of it. Her. Could it possibly be that woman we talk to? Okay, that, yeah, that has nothing to do with anything. I could care less about that crap. Uh, nose running. Wow. Okay. So we got this crap. Random holes. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. He can feel it calling in the air tonight. Oh lord. Yep, he can. Oh, go. Uh, okay. Well, crap can be pushed. So. Assuming that maybe something will be able to. Aha! <laughs> I'm smart with my head. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting to happen, but okay. What is that? Oh, fuck. That's not good. That's a skeleton. Yeah, that's another. Where the fuck am I? Am I in a cemetery? Oh god, I'm in that basement. Holy shit. That music's actually really creepy. Okay. Uh. Houses. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Wow. All right. What is this place? Oh, I got ammo. Oh, you know what that means? Guns. Ah, my nose. Sorry. I'll continue on. General notices. They're all dated 1840s. General notices. Okay, general nope, notices. Nothing of interest. All right. It won't budge. Okay. Some doors you encounter will be bolted on one side. Action the bolt to unlock or unlock the door. Okay. Wow, this game's really different from most games I've seen before. Alright, so you can lock doors to stop enemies. Huh. 
Oh. Oh, okay. Who's that? Hello, hey. Jack. Who are you? Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. Later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. The woman was kind of friendly. Let's go and save. Oh, okay. I realize now what that run was for. That's for the old man that we caught peeing. He was a peeing. <coughs> Let's see here. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. ba. The fuck is that noise? Nope, nothing of interest. What the hell? What the fuck is that? What's going? You better keep your trash. I won't tell him anything. Uh, what? What? I think it was up here. What's going on? Come here. Do you know the Burnham lad? He works. Just leave me be, stranger. Excuse me, Tell me why. Jack Walters. The uh, robes. Alien robes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm looking for a Brian Burnham. He works locally, in the First National Grocery Store. Insma don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. Okay, fine, Jesus. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, he stranger. Still with anything useful? All right, fine, fine, fine. If I see you talking to me, I can hear you. I'm right over shame. here. I've told him nothing. You're an idiot. Use logic much. Hey, Fatso. Fatso. I'm looking for Brian. Fatso. Fatso. Fatso, you have you, know the you have man. gills on your you neck. In the wrong place asking the wrong Dude, stop walking! Stop walking! Ugh. Ice esoteric order of Dagon. Es esoteric? I can't spell. Speak. Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. Oh well, I'm glad he can talk. Thank you. He speaks words good. Why can't I? I wish I could run. Running would be awesome in this game. I can strafe. Wah! <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> okay, so we're going to go off to find that old man then. Here we go. If I can remember where he's at. Alright. I think he was down this hallway. I know it's not a hallway, it's an alleyway. I can hear him. Of course. Alright, anyways, uh, so we're gonna stop right here, actually, because we're running out of time. This has been Spoog on Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, Dark Horrors of the Earth. Thanks for watching, and join me next time when I talk to a drunkard.
See ya.